it's finally here. The hallmark of the feedy season, a holiday dedicated to feasting on fattening foods until you're too full to move from your spot at the table. That's right, my precious little piggies. Thanksgiving is here. As far as fetists are concerned, there's truly no better holiday than Thanksgiving. It's a celebration of gluttony and greed, where overindulgence is not only expected but encouraged, and the offerings of the table are so deliciously heavy and fattening you just can't help but go back for seconds. There's truly no better time to be a feedy, or even a feeder, as we get to watch your belly swell up into big, round, delicious butterballs that would make even the fattest turkey jealous. Yes, it's the perfect time of year to let go and stuff yourself silly, as well as show all your distant relatives just how much fatter you've gotten since they saw you last year. Of course, some of them may judge you, whether with sideways scowls as you fill your third plate, or with backhanded jabs about how healthy you look. Some might even insult you outright. But at the end of the day, no matter how harsh or foul their words may be, you know that being fat and getting fatter are the right things to do. They're probably just insecure, or even jealous that you just eat whatever you want without a care in the world. After all, the phrase is fat and happy for a reason. So let them be thin and miserable and enjoy that extra slice of pie. And speaking of extra, I wish to offer you all a challenge. This Thanksgiving, I want you to eat as much as you possibly can. Now, you may scoff at hearing that. It's what you do every year, after all. But believe me, you can always go further. And this year, you'll do just that. I'm enacting a one-plate minimum for you this year. That is, however many plates you normally eat, you need to have one more on top of that. If you usually go back for seconds, this year go back for thirds. If you usually go for thirds, then go for fourths, and so on. This applies to desserts as well. Don't just have one slice of pie, or even two. Eat half, or even the whole thing if you're feeling really ambitious. And if there's enough, of course. But really, if you're coming to dinner, everyone should already know to make extra. And if they don't, well, this is the year you can prove it to them. And yourself. I want you to push yourself to your absolute limits and burst through them full force. The same way you'll be bursting through your buttons by the end of the night. Don't be afraid to loosen your belt or unzip your pants if you need to. In fact, if you can, you should probably wear loose, stretchy clothing to better accommodate your bound-to-be-bulging belly. Although, purposefully wearing something just a little too tight could also be fun. Not only for that lovely, snug feeling that comes when your belly swells bigger, but also to show that belly off to everyone around you. Wearing a skin-tight dress or too tight button-up will ensure that everyone knows just how greedy and gluttonous you really are. And when you're done, you can give that big belly a pat to let everyone know it's here to stay. Now, for those of you who are not in the U.S., you're probably feeling a bit left out. But don't worry. You can participate, too. It won't be quite as formal, as there's no recognized holiday for you, but the principle is the same. From the moment you roll out of bed, to the moment you waddle into your food coma, you need to be eating. And you need to be eating. A lot. Get in the American spirit and supersize your normal meals. Pile your plates high, eat two portions instead of one. Get everything fried with full fat and full sugar. And if you can, limit your activity. Spend as much time as you can on the couch or in bed letting all of that greasy, heavy, fattening food do the work for you, so you wake up the next day still feeling big and bloated and hefty in the gut. Stuff yourself the American way. Because trust me, if there's one thing Americans do best, it's getting fat. So, how does all of that sound, hmm? All that yummy, fattening food sitting so nice and heavy in your belly, straining your buttons and seams. 
It's exciting, isn't it? And the best part is, the stuffing doesn't end when Thanksgiving passes. There'll be tons of leftovers to go through, keeping that big belly nice and stuffed for days after the initial feast. By the time the fridge is empty, you'll have forgotten what hunger feels like, and you'll have added a good five to ten pounds onto your ever-fattening frame, if you've done it right. But all that extra weight begins with just a single bite, so make sure you waddle into Thanksgiving belly first, and eat till you need a crane to haul you back out. Eat. Drink. Be merry. And get fat. After all, that's what you do best, isn't it?